Okay, in this video, we'll discuss two more advanced functions that involve internal rate of return. The modified internal rate of return function, and then the XIRR, which is like XM. And our file will be M IRR XIRR. Like this. So let's talk about the XIRR. So XIRR finds IRRs for irregularly spaced cash flow. Okay, so for example, I'll just make up some dates. January 10th, 2017. Uh, August 26th, 2019. And October 14th, 2023. And let's suppose May 23rd. 2026. All right. So let's suppose I had to pay $10,000 and then, okay, let's make this formatted so it's just numbers. So I paid in minus $10,000 here, got back $5,000, got back $4,500, got back $3,500. Now, what's the rate of return on these investments? We know there'll be a unique annual rate of return because we have a negative starting cash flow followed by positive. So if I do XIRR, I could do a guess. Okay, so here's the values. Here's the dates. I don't know if I'll do the guess there. So I get about 4.7%. Four point seven one percent, and as a check there, I could do an XNPV at 0 0.0471, rounding off. Here's the values. Here's the dates. Okay, so that doesn't quite work out to be perfect there. XNPV. I should add more decimal points there, I guess. Okay, four point seven one. Okay, so that comes out to just about zero. Okay, so that works out really pretty well there. The XIRR will find you IRRs for irregularly spaced cash flow. Now, what's modified in internal rate of return? MIRR. All right. So basically, what we assume with modified internal rate of return is there's a rate at which you borrow money. That's called the rate at which you finance. And there's a rate at which you invest your positive cash flows. That's the reinvestment rate. So let's assume you can finance at 10%. In other words, when you get a negative cash flow, you have to finance that by borrowing. And when you get a positive cash flow, you can reinvest it at 12%. Well, there's a function, MIRR, or you, you just, you'll see the syntax right here that gives you the modified internal rate of return. In other words, what will give you an NPV of zero? What rate give it those assumptions at rates you can borrow and rates you can reinvest? Okay, so you would say your values and the finance rate was this and the reinvestment rate was that and you get 18% or if you want to be precise on this, Seventeen point nine oh nine percent. Now, there's always a unique modified internal rate of return. Remember, IRR doesn't need to be unique. And here's a good example: this crazy project has an NP, uh, an IRR of minus five hundred ninety-three percent and twenty-five percent. If I plug in minus five point nine three for the discount rate, I get an NPV of zero. If I plug in point uh, two five, I get an NPV of zero. What does that mean? I really don't have a clue, okay? So the MIRR, although it's not really widely used, uh, resolves one of the problems that you'll never have multiple internal rates of return. But I think XIRR is much more important because, you know, money comes when it comes. Just be happy it gets there. You can't really make cash flows occur 
at regular at regularly spaced intervals. They just come when they want to come. Okay, we'll start talking about some more Excel financial functions to do present values of annuities, future values like saving for retirement, functions involved with mortgages, and then some other neat functions, the rate function and the NPER function in our next few videos. But we'll break those up because there's a lot of those functions. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.